Let's get these into the system with those hooks. We put a little tension on it, but we're not going to lift it. But I want to see what direction it's being pulled, and we want to make sure we square up that pull with those chains. If I look right now, I can tell you which one's pulling a little bit more. This one's pulling a little bit more, right? So it, it's an easy fix for us. You just loosen up a little bit and take this one section of chain. Boom. See how you fix that? Now you're getting equal pull there with equal pull there. It's in line with this grip hoist. You can go ahead and start taking a little bit of tension now. And we're not going to officially go until one person's in charge. You're watching them pulling the bases, right? You're watching these guys and making sure that they're going to hold tension on the heads where they're actually engaged in the vehicle. You're making sure that nobody is standing in here by this cable because this is where the most dangerous part is. This thing does not even need to be messed with until this car is where we want it to be. Then you'll pull that through, but we need to make sure we have enough slack to get two full wraps around the bail and then make sure it's locked off and that's our security. And you'll just tell them to take tension and make sure all of these guys are ready to rock and roll. You guys ready? Yep. You guys ready? All right, on you. Just keep going nice and slow. Okay, I would stop. I would stop. Now what I would do is you got a lot of slack in those ratchet straps. Hold the tension at the bases. You don't. You no longer need to worry about the floor bases. The ones on the ground, just hold at the tip, and then go ahead and pull some people in there and tighten those ratchets up. Just nice and snug, it doesn't have to be any more than that. That's good, because we're pulling back into this system, right? This is called a tie back. It's pulling into those struts. Now's when we'll set this as our secondary. We want this to show if there's a failure, so I don't want a ton of slack, but I want a nice little bow in the system. And that will tell me if that bow drops down more that somehow something shifted. Or if this fails, it's going to catch it. But I don't want it to catch six inches. I want it to catch, you know, a half an inch. Well, I pull my slack all the way through like this, right? And if I was to tighten this right now at the moment, in this position, I'm not going to get two full wraps on the bail. So what I do is I just grab it. I pull back just a little bit. That's it. Set it down. That's all I need to do now. And now I can ratchet it. And that gave me over my two bales without doing too much. Just get it tight to where you want it first. Pull it back about three inches, two inches, then drop it to the ground and ratchet it. And that way we know that we have our two full wraps around that bale.